Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here with mcfitmethod.com and it's a big day for me here today. You may have saw that earlier today I announced a new project that I've been working on for about a year over at mcfitmethod.com and what I've always wanted to do is I want to take my daily workouts, the workouts that I've been doing for years that are proven results and I want to be able to bring them to you every single day. So I've been working for the past year on programming different workouts, filming these workouts and setting up the system so you can access these workouts from mcfitmethod.com. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm giving you my workouts, five workouts per week, the workouts that I specifically do every single day. And then not only do you get those five workouts, new workouts every single week when you join today, you're also going to get all eight of my training programs over at mcfitmethod.com. Now this is huge guys because I've developed these programs over the course of many, many years and there's eight different programs in there based on your goals, if you wanna build muscle, if you wanna lose body fat, whatever you wanna do, if you wanna up your conditioning. There's a lot of jump rope programs in there, there's lots of high intensity bodybuilding programs in there, there's eight of them in there. Some of them are 30 days, some of them are 60 days, but really, you're gonna get all those free today when you join, and then like I said, once you join, you're gonna get five of my workouts, brand new workouts every single week, and it's basically a follow along kind of workout where I go over all the movements, so you're not gonna be any guessing work, you're gonna know exactly what you need to do. So basically what you're gonna get is me in this gym every single day going over the workout of the day. So I'm gonna kind of describe that a little bit for you today. So starting off, I'm gonna go over one of the workouts. So one of the workouts that I programmed for next week is a five round workout and it's a kettlebell and jump rope workout. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna interval and we're gonna go back and forth between the jump rope and a kettlebell. So this workout happens to be five rounds as I mentioned and it starts off with 20 kettlebell swings. So like all my workouts, I'm gonna go over the movements. I'm gonna grab that kettlebell. So with this kettlebell, prescribed weight for this workout is going to be 53 pound kettlebells for men and 35 pound kettlebells for women. But as always with my workouts, make sure you are scaling the weight and the reps accordingly just for you. Now with the kettlebell, what you want to do is maintain proper form in this kettlebell. And you really want to utilize the hips and the power of your hips and your legs to generate power to then bring that kettlebell up overhead because we're going to start off with 20 kettlebell swings. So you're going to hinge at the weight, setting that hips back a little bit, really staying back in those heels, loading up those hamstrings go down with a straight flat back, keeping that chest up the entire time, really engaging those lats. You don't want to hang down an arch. So you want to grab that kettlebell. You're going to bring it up in your, between your legs and you're going to use the power of your hips to thrust that kettlebell up overhead. Now on this workout, we're going to do American kettlebell swing. So that means you're going to go full extension at the top, bottom of that kettlebell. So it should essentially be pointing up towards the sky rather than Russian, which is just kind of just above eye level. So you're going to bend down, like I said, keep sending those hips back, grab that kettlebell and really use the hips and then thrust that kettlebell up, bring it back down, full extension up on top. You can even loosen your grip a little bit at the top there to, to rest your hands. But you're gonna do 20 of these kettlebell swings. Once you've completed 20 of those, you're gonna set that kettlebell down. Now you're moving into, you're gonna transition into the jump rope portion of this workout, which is gonna be 30 double unders or 60 single unders based on your ability. So I've got my RX Smart Gear jump rope staged right back here in a nice arc so I can go down, pick up that jump rope, and we're gonna end up doing double unders. So 30 double unders, that's two rotations of the rope for every jump. It looks like this. So you'll see the rope is rotating twice for every single jump. Always maintain proper form here, keeping those feet together, keeping that chest up, elbows are in close to your sides keeping those hands down right around hip level, and then you're rotating that rope just with your wrist. Now, if you do those 30 single under, or the 30 double unders, or you can scale it down to 60 singles. So the singles is just simply one rotation of that rope for every jump. Still maintain that same form though. Once you've completed those 30, 60, uh, 30 or 60, you're gonna set that jump rope down. As always, once again, guys, stage that rope behind you in a nice arc. That way, when you completed your set of uh, kettlebell swings, you can easily step back here, pick up that rope again, and move right into the next movement without having to untangle it off to the side. So always stage it down behind you. Next movement here with this kettlebell is gonna be goblet squats. So on that goblet squat, what we're gonna do, it's a little bit wider of your feet than shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly out, and when you go in that squat, you wanna make sure that your knees are tracking out over your toes, they're not caving inward. 
So you're gonna send those hips back, keeping that chest up the entire time. Now when you rack this dumbbell up into a goblet position, kind of in front of your chest, it's gonna to wanna to pull you forward. So make sure you are sending those hips back first and you are sending those you know, hip, hips back and you're loading up those hamstrings and staying on your heels because the kettlebell weight is gonna to wanna to pull you forward. So what you wanna do is you're gonna pick up that kettlebell, you're gonna move it up into the goblet position, which is right in front of your chest, holding it close in, keeping those elbows in close to your side, send those hips back, full squat position all the way down till the hips go down below knee level and then standing all the way up to full extension. So 20 of these goblet squats. Like I said, make sure you keep that chest up you're gonna do 20 of those goblet squats. Then we're gonna go right back to that jump rope again with another set of the 30 double unders or the 60 singles. And then we're moving on to the final movement here with this kettlebell, which is once again gonna be 20 reps, but it's gonna be 20 uh, deadlifts. So once again, kind of the same position that we were in before with our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, toes tracking outwards just slightly. And you're gonna hinge at that waist again. Now you're gonna bend it with a flat back Head and neck should be in neutral spine, so you're kind of looking straight ahead down at the ground and engaging those lats. So when you pull up here, you want to engage those lats so your shoulders don't cave under and round. You want to really lock those back down. So when you pick up that dumbbell, slight bend in those knees. You're going to go all the way up to full extension here. Stand fully upright. Make sure you're not arching back too much here. And then you're going to first to start that um, the next rotation when you're going back down here, make sure you're not rounding over. What we want to do is send those hips back first and then slowly hinge down, slight bend in those knees all the way down, head and neck and neutral spine, then stand all the way up. So we're going to do 20 of these deadlifts. If you're doing that right, you're really going to be feeling that in the hamstrings as you send those hips back. So loading up those hamstrings should not be feeling that in the lower back at all. So you're gonna do 20 deadlifts, and then what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna be finishing that round with another set of the 30 double unders or those 60 singles. That completes one round, and as I mentioned, with this workout, you're gonna complete a total of five rounds of that. So guys, that's basically what you can expect when you visit mcfitmethod.com and join today. So you're gonna get workouts just like that where I'm describing all of the movements and going over everything with you. So every single day you're gonna get a new workout and then plus on top of that, you're gonna get all eight of my 30 and 60 day training programs that I've developed over the course of about three or four years here. So this is a big exciting news for me. I'm so happy to be able to provide everybody with the workouts that I do on a daily basis that's given me my results, my proven results. So guys, check out mcfitmethod.com. I look forward to connecting with you and going through all of these workouts with you every single day and helping you achieve your goals. Thanks a lot, guys. Visit mcfitmethod.com and I will see you right here in the gym.